This review is brought to you by Charcoal Toothpaste. Hello, this is Aaron from AaronOnAutos.com and today we're looking at the 2019 Volkswagen Jetta GLI. This is a 35th anniversary edition. It's got the 2 liter turbo, 6 speed manual transmission. That's an important one. 6 speed manual. <laughs> uh, this is a, a fine little car. Uh, it's about uh, 27,000 I think of uh, the way it sits and uh, really nicely done I really do like it I'm just impressed so there are some Volkswagen quirks and I'll show you some of those some people uh, Volkswagen interiors are love it or hate it some people love them some people hate it it's Volkswagen but uh, I call it Teutonic 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 is the type of interior I call Volkswagen. So, let's get started over here. Here we have uh, doors, windows, uh, or windows and mirrors, etc. So windows, windows here, window lock right there, and that runs the side mirrors. And if you pull it down, you see, then it heats those side mirrors. It's separate from the uh, defrost and rear heating. FYI. Over there, that's the trunk release. So that releases the deck. Over there is the hood release, which pops the hood. Sport pedals, see that? And there's three of them. Boom! <laughs> right. uh, up here, here's your lighting. Uh, pretty simple and straightforward there. Door locks right there, door handle here. I like this look, it's a, it's a good look for this uh, it, with the piano black and the other stuff in this interior. Here is uh, first of the vents. I have the climate controls off, uh, so we're not blowing air into them, but they are good. They're really good at it. Uh, steering wheel, I was almost about, I was about to do instruments. I need to do steering first. Pretty uh, straightforward Volkswagen. So if you've seen Volkswagens that I've done reviews in in the past, then you'll you'll recognize all of this. Uh, really like this. Uh, it just looks good and it feels, it's just like exactly the right size for where you sit in this car. Over here is uh, cruise control stuff, so you can pretty much see what you do, resume, set, etc. You go up and down speeds right here, cancel it with that middle button. You turn it off up there, and let's see, well, on and off actually. And then down here, this is pops up a screen on there that is all of your driver assist kind of stuff. And then here's volume control there. Coming over here, we have, uh, you can see voice control there. This is a view, so it just it shows whatever last menu you are on up there on the driver information screen. This goes up and down through those screens. Here's the main screens, so you can go back and forth between the main menus up there, and then you can do submenus with these. And you hit OK to select stuff, and this jumps tracks. So on infotainment, it jumps channels and or tracks. And that's about it. Over here, you have your washer wipers. So you can see the settings right here going up. Uh, so you drop, push it down once just to get the one X, uh, one shot, and then intermittent low and high. This controls the speed of it, back and forth. Pull it towards you to squirt, and that's about it. Over on this side, you got your signal turns up and down, and then you can see the bright settings. So you could do a quick flash by pulling it this way, and permanent brights on going that way and that I believe is it so yeah that's the that's Volkswagen's version of a turn signal look see <laughs> it's a little symbol for it it's probably a European symbol but you never see that in the US anyway <laughs> over here uh, let's see if I can get a finger in there it's a really tight space okay over here you got tachometer down there you got engine heat over here you got speedometer, Canucks miles an hour underneath that, and down here you have the fuel. Put a lot of miles on this, uh, 520 to be exact. Ha! Um, drove it down, took the whole family, packed all five of us in here and drove it down to Colorado Springs. And a really, really well done car. Uh, nice little ride for, I mean, it should be too it should be really tight for that many people but there were zero complaints it was surprising right here is the 
aforementioned in, in their uh, driver information screens. So I'm just going to page through them, show you the main menus. I'm not going to jump into any, any uh, details, but the assist systems, this is what you get when you push the button by the cruise control stuff. Uh, driving data, that's kind of important stuff. I've been using it for this, but if I go up and down, you can see average speed. So average, pretty sure that's a Swedish symbol, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, since I refueled 302 miles, so you can see where my fuel is now uh, based on that, and travel time, and so on. So you get the idea. My average fuel economy has been really good. So this is rated at 32 mpg on the highway, and you can see what I've been getting. So, bam, that's the, uh, what that is, not to, you know, pat myself on the back, but I am. <laughs> What that is, is a tribute to how a well-done manual works. You can get really good fuel economy if you're really good at keeping track of that transmission and constantly shifting it. I'll show you footage of me driving around town, and this is me moving those gears pretty constantly. It's a lot of work, but I enjoy it because I rarely get to drive a manual anymore. They're just not as common. Um, so yeah, just keeping that top gear as much as possible, going up as high as you can, without lugging that really really makes a difference in fuel economy and uh, for me it made a difference between it added literally added if you go with the average I added 10 miles a gallon to this car that's an extreme I've never seen that kind of uh, upgrade before that's a combination of a really well matched engine to the car this 2 liter turbo is really well matched to this car and the use of a manual transmission so there you go, I'm done ranting, keep going. <laughs> Moving over here, you have uh, infotainment screen. So it's pretty straightforward Volkswagen. There's not a whole lot of uh, special stuff on it. So here you can go to the car menu. You see, I just pushed that button and you can see some of the things you can do here. If I go to radio, it'll probably start playing because uh, it'll just start playing whatever station it's on. I haven't been listening to the radio in this. I've been streaming because well, because it doesn't have Sirius. Uh, media here, that's coming off my phone. Phone up here, apps over here, set up there. That's the menu we were on before. So there you go. Coming down, we have the vents, Duke's lights, and indicators for passenger airbag. Down here, we have uh, climate control. So you can see seat heating on either side. So the bun warmer is going on. And then you have the rest of the controls. Pretty straightforward. I don't think I have to explain anything. This turns it off, boom. That hits auto, bam, and you have a dual zone setting. So you use each of these dials to set. Down here, you have a nice cubby. This is a great spot for a phone. It's good and rubberized, doesn't move around, easy. Here's your plugs. And then down here is engine start. That's the parking brake shifter, smooth shifter too. You get really good at it. Over here, you see the rest of the buttons here. So we have a 12 volt, then you have all of these plus your drink holders this is a decent spot for a phone but not as good be unless your phone is short and then you have storage cubby and seating here's my cheat sheet this is seating is really really well done i like it feels really good and i like the look of this so you can see how they broke up the black i don't like black on black on black right but they broke it up so you can see they have the dash is very, very driver canted, so everything's turned towards me. And then you can see they use this faux carbon fiber and a few other things. Could be real carbon fiber, I very much doubt it. Not for the price we paid, that's paid. And then moving back to the back seat. It's a good sized back seat. Three across, no problem with their kids. Um, adults will be okay, they'll be a little tight. But it's a good, good back seat. Trunk is also good. I'll show you, the, uh, I'll show you under the deck so you can see that. And just a, a really, really well done car. So that's it. That's what I got. This has been Aaron from AaronOnAutos.com. Sitting in 2019 Volkswagen Jetta GLI in the 35th anniversary edition. Talk to you again soon. Subscribe.